In this video, we're going to complete example three. We're going to follow the same process again. We're going to find the reciprocal of the second fraction. We're then going to multiply our fractions. And thirdly, we're going to express our solution in simplest form. So let's look at question A. You'll notice we've got two thirds divided by five. And you might think to yourself, how are we going to flip this five? How do we flip a whole number? And we discussed this earlier. You can rewrite a whole number as five over one. Okay, so now we can flip it. Well, the first fraction stays the same and the second fraction flips and becomes one over five. And we're going to multiply these fractions. So if we multiply the top two numbers, two times one is two. The bottom two numbers, three times five is 15. Let's now move on to question B. Once again, we've got a whole number. This time it's three. So we rewrite the whole number over one, three over one. And then we keep the first fraction the same and the second fraction gets flipped. 5 over 6 becomes 6 over 5, and we multiply these. Multiplying the top two, 3 times 6 is 18. Multiplying the bottom two, 1 times 5 gives us 5. Now this is an improper fraction, so it'd be good if we can make it a mixed numeral. To do that, all we do is say, how many times does 5 fit inside of 18? Well, I can fit it inside of 18 three times with a remainder of three. The three becomes my numerator and the denominator stays the same. It was five before, it stays as five. We get the mixed numeral three and three fifths. Let's now move on to question C. Now we're going four divide one over five. Remembering that our whole number can be converted to a fraction over one. So we keep the first fraction the same and we flip the second fraction. It becomes five over one and we multiply it. When we multiply the top two numbers, four times five is 20. And when we multiply the bottom two numbers, one times one is one. Now 20 over one can be just written as 20 because 20 divide one equals 20. Finally, we'll move on to question D. Once again, we take our whole number and put it over one. The first fraction stays the same. The second fraction is flipped. It becomes five over seven, and we're going to multiply this. Now, it gets a little tricky multiplying these really large numbers. 21 times five, we're gonna get something over 100. So we're gonna take some little shortcuts here. Uh, first of all, if I was to write them next to each other, I would have 21 times five at the top of my fraction, and one times seven at the bottom of my fraction. Now I'm gonna split the 21 up into three times seven because three times seven is 21. And next to it, I'll write times five. And at the bottom of my fraction, I will write uh, one times seven. You'll notice that we've got a seven above and below. When that happens, I can cancel them, which is just gonna make my life a little easier because if I do the top of the fraction, three times five is 15. And at the bottom of the fraction, I get just the number one and 15 over one is just our whole number, 15. Anyway, that concludes our video on example three. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.